or DNA. Okay, this is the one, my man. This is the, like a fucking nightmare I've had before. No oh, shit. no. Yeah, man. I guess, a- okay, they're parasailing, and he's actually not attached, so he's going to be hanging on for dear life. Yeah. This motherfucker is not attached <laughs> on a parasail, I'm and definitely- they are flying at heights that... <laughs> oh, yeah, you're a couple hundred feet in the air. <laughs> Oh my fucking god. Dude. This is li- I've literally had dreams like this as well. You have? Fuck yeah. I have. I mean, look at that shit. He is holding on for dear fucking life. And I'm sure if this were in a dream setting, like your fingertips would be so weak oh, and you'd god. be so heavy. That's so true. Like you're you're bound to fall. You're just postponing the inevitable. When you fall, that's when you're going to wake up. Yeah. Most likely raising up very quickly out of bed. Sitting up 90 degrees, sweating with your eyes wide open, going, what the fuck just happened? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well. But, like, the... Oh, my God. Yeah, he's just... Ha- and how long hard. you got to... Yeah, how long do you have to hang on? Like, now you're just going to fall and a tree's going to go up your ass. <laughs> oh, my God. Can you imagine that? Lord of the Fly style. Dude, if that is what is fueling you, I believe that you could fucking maintain a grip on that thing. You know, thinking about the fucking drop would yeah. be enough to keep me hanging on for dear life. <laughs> like. God, I'd be trying to swing. Like, I don't know if I'd be trying to waste the energy to swing my legs up to hang on with my legs. Yeah, I mean, it's just. Then you worry about holding upside down. This is a not marish position. I mean, oh there God. is no... You know, people get sick, get vertigo just standing at the edge of a building, let alone flying on something where the only thing keeping you from falling to the ground is your grip on a bar. <laughs> yeah. That you're hanging well, down he's, gra- he's holding the fuck out of like, this person's leg. Yeah, I don't understand that. Why he started grabbing a leg instead? Why? I'm not losing grip, I guess. Right can't hold on forever but look man Get weak they're, eventually they're coming to a closing finally almost on the ground after being ridiculously if high i there. if i were that if i were that person i would pass out the second i hit the fucking ground <laughs> right. like, I'm Me like, too. i like i live now i can black out in peace <laughs> yeah uh, unless you had like an adrenaline boner from hell Oh, yeah, man. I mean, you probably would. You ain't ever going to get a thrill like that in your life again. <laughs> he just dropped off like a hunk of shit. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Just had to drop his ass off. I wouldn't have stayed on that thing and took a chance on it taking lift off again. Oh, my God. Like, that's it's like the idea of like a roller coaster not being strapped in and then it takes off. That's yes. the shit that terrifies me. Like, I went to yes. Hollywood and like maybe uh, it was last weekend. I went and um, I no matter how many times I've I've been in rides or ridden roller coasters or anything, that thought never escapes my head. Like mm-hmm. I said earlier, I'm neurotic in every sense of life. <laughs> I'm yeah. neurotic to the fucking bone. And when it comes to rides, especially every single one of them, no matter if they secure it and I see them secure it, I'm like. You always it's not it. secure. I can move this. Yeah. This is wiggly wiggly. I mean, dude, come on. Think about how they actually check you at, at roller coasters, rides, and shit. They get loosey-goosey with that, for sure, because they're doing it all day. That's what their job is, is to walk up, make sure a bunch of people are strapped in, and they really don't give a fuck a lot of the times. They seem like they were operating on a skeleton crew, which mm-hmm. also makes me fucking nervous at a theme park, you know. It seems like you'd want people, multiple people, attentive that are watching yeah. When you got like, just one person conducting something and they're half ass paying attention, it's like when you when you see a, a theme park worker having a bad day, <laughs> one that's visible that they're having a bad day, that makes me worry big right. time. I'm like, you're just ready to get the fuck out of here. You're ready to go home. You say, fuck me. Ow!